started hearing about the weight loss drugs at the same time I was going through knee surgery and I felt I've got to do this on my own. Mm. I've got to do this on my own because if I take the drug, that's the easy way out. Now I hear about Triple G and I'm like, so okay. Not <laughs> but, 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 yeah. but, but there's a part of me that, that feels yeah. like I think a lot of people felt with or feel with bariatric surgery that I've got to do it the hard way. I've got to keep climbing the mountains. I got to keep suffering. I got to do that because otherwise I somehow cheated myself. I What's up, guys? It's your girl, Dom. Thank you guys for being here with me today. For my returning subscribers, kudos to you. Thank you for subscribing. If you're new here, I'm Dominique. Um, I do a wide variety of videos. So make sure that you do go ahead and subscribe, like the video, interact with me. Love when you guys are in the comment section. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now, today I want to go ahead and discuss what's going on between Oprah and and Jillian Michaels. Now, Jillian Michaels um, has kind of made her career around being a health guru, right? She's a fitness expert. She's also a certified nutritionist. She kind of bumped her way into celebrity status. She was on The Biggest Loser. So Jillian Michaels has called Oprah out for being financially incentivized to promote weight loss drugs like Ozempic and similar products. And she feels as if Oprah is not being honest with her consumer about how she's been losing weight. There is a belief that Oprah has been using these weight loss drugs long before she's admitted to doing so and has been saying that she's been losing the weight by using the Weight Watchers point system in which she's been promoting to her consumer. We all know that she's been the face of this company for a very long time. Now, in March of 2023, Weight Watchers bought a telehealth company by the name of Sequence. Now, you can look this up. It is public knowledge. Jillian didn't say anything that you can't go and find out. However, if you're not looking for it, you're not going to find it. It's like one of those situations. WW International, formerly known as Weight Watchers, announced it is buying the company Sequence for $100 million. The subscription service helps overweight customers access groundbreaking new medications like Ozempic for diabetes and Wagovi for obesity. The drugs are made with semaglutide, which reduces hunger and makes people feel full longer. We can give proper information to the masses about the appropriate use of these medications. Since their approval, Ozempic in 2017 and Wagovi in 2021, the drugs have become wildly popular. I do have concerns about off-label use of semaglutide. Medical professionals worry people are using them who don't really need them, leading to shortages. I would hope that Weight Watchers would put some guide rails on the use of semaglutide. So they sh should not be recommending it to people who only want to lose five or 10 pounds. How will Weight Watchers prevent people who shouldn't be on these medications from getting these medications? First, the decision to be on a medication is gonna be based on the individual member and their healthcare provider. Weight Watchers business had been struggling with subscriptions to its services dropping from 4.2 million to 3.5 last year. But this announcement sent the stock up 79% today. So Jillian Michaels is arguing that the only reason why Oprah is coming out and promoting these weight loss drugs now is because she's been financially incentivized to do so because of Weight Watchers acquiring this company. Again, we saw in the video, the company was struggling, stock has went down, be advised that Oprah is a 10% owner of the Weight Watchers company. So she is financially gaining from promoting this. She is financially gaining from them acquiring this company. Now, again, the big problem here is that, as we stated earlier, Oprah has been telling her consumers that the way that she's been losing weight is because she's been following the point system on Weight Watchers. She's been getting out, working out. She's been watching her diet. It's become a lifestyle. When all actuality, she's allegedly been taking this drug, but she was not honest with the consumers until after the company was acquired by Weight Watchers 
in which now she can come out and be honest. She couldn't be honest before because then that would go against what she's been preaching to us, right? She's been telling us, you want to look like me? You sign up for Weight Watchers, you change your lifestyle, you can look like this. When all actuality behind the scenes, she's been taking these drugs. Now that she's been financially incentivized to do so, she can now come out and promote it and say it's FDA approved and get you on board to come back and spend some more money if you want to look like me right and in addition to that julian is basically saying and i'm going to play the video that calories in calories out there's no need for you to take this medication she wishes that oprah and people who take ozempic would tell the consumers of these products about how dangerous they are because she says at a three-year mark or two-year mark they will plateau they no longer work if you get off of them which is really hard to do because they're very addictive but when you do get off of them you're going to gain all of the weight back and then some, and then there will also be lingering side effects. And because the drugs haven't been out for so long, we really don't even know what those side effects will be. So that was her thing. And she also says that just like other nutritionists and fitness people have been saying for years, calorie intake is the answer. She says that these people will say it's hard to lose weight in your 50s and your 60s and your 40s. When this drug, all it does is curb your appetite, resulting in you eating less calories. So she's trying to preach that if you can just discipline yourself and find a way to stop eating so much, then you will still lose the weight without having to put these products into your body. And we don't know what the, what the effects will be down the line. That you can never get off these drugs. If you do get off of them, all of the meta-analysis meta show us that you will gain all the weight back and then some two-thirds of it within the first year. But now you've messed up your metabolism, you've lost muscle, you might be running the risk of all these side effects. So you're going to gain it back and then some and have lingering side effects. On top of that, let's say you're like, no, I'm staying on it forever. Really? Google Ozempic Plateau. You will plateau on Ozempic. It will stop working right around the 18 month to two year mark, it's going to stop working. Now, what are you gonna do? Because now you're literally beholden to it. It's expensive, insurance isn't gonna cover it forever. Are you gonna be on it forever? So we don't even know what this looks like five years down the road, 10 years down the road. The code, the two good things that have come out of this, in my opinion, are it has proven what I've been saying for three decades, calories in, calories out is weight loss. Health is a different conversation, but it facilitates weight loss. Proof, in pudding. Second thing, we know that women and men of all ages can lose weight because most of these people on Ozempic are 40 plus, right? And they're shrinking. So looks like you can still lose weight if you're eating less food. And the third thing, I guess the third thing is now we're allowed to say that obesity is deadly again because the pharmaceutical companies have shaped that narrative one more time. So those are the only good things about it. I'm going to tell you that if you can find a way to eat less food without these drugs, you will lose weight and there'll be nothing but upside. Instead of all the negative side effects, you will have a list of positive side effects from improved cognitive Oprah has a financial incentive with Ozempic. So Oprah, I believe, is one of the biggest shareholders of Weight Watchers, and Weight Watchers is now in the Ozempic business. I believe they bought a company that um, provides access to these drugs. So now there is a financial interest in these drugs. I think it's important to put that out there right off the bat. So just to go ahead and wrap everything up, Jillian is basically saying for a while, Oprah has been promoting Weight Watchers, lose weight the right way, work out, watch your calories, eat right, sign up with Weight Watchers. We assume that she's been on the drug for a very long time, allegedly, before she told it to us that she was on the drug and she's still preaching, Weight Watchers, Weight Watchers, this is how I'm losing the weight, Weight Watchers. And then after the company acquires Sequence, now she can finally come out and be honest about she, what she's really been doing. 
And Jillian believes that the only reason why she took this stance, and again, remember, Oprah has been talking badly and talking down on people who have took this route. She said that it's cheating. She says it's not the right way. You want to go ahead and watch your calories. So again, she's been down talking people who have been using these medications to lose weight. Right. And so Jillian saying the only reason why she's changed her stance on this is because the only reason she's changed her stance on this is because there is a financial benefit for Oprah to do so. Now, I'll say this and I'll go ahead and wrap this video up. Two things can be true at the same time. I believe that Oprah is actually taking the medication that she's stating that she's taking. And if she's saying that it's working good, as we can see that it is working, then kudos to her. That means that she's not lying, right? Oprah acknowledged, like the video that I played in the beginning, I'll probably play it at the end of this video, but Oprah did acknowledge that she has talked bad about people um, who take the easy route out. And she was holding herself to a higher standard. And she was telling herself that I have to do it the hard way. I have to work out. I have to do it like this because in her mind, this was the right way to do it. She acknowledged that. And so I think, no, she did not come out and say that, hey, we bought this company. And this is also why I'm saying this. Of course, she's not going to say that. I don't think it would have been the time or the place because again, if she's actually taking the drug, What's the problem with it? That's what I don't understand. <laughs> like, I get you're a health guru. You're a fitness guru. You do this health shit all the time. This is your niche. And this is not Oprah's niche. But if Oprah is really taking the drug and it's really been effective and it's really been helping her and she can benefit financially from this and she's told you and acknowledged, yes, I've said this, but now this is my stance. We're allowed to do that. So I, I don't know. I'm with Oprah on this. I wouldn't tell people that I've been financially incentivized to do so because that's not the only reason why I'm doing so. I'm actually really taking the drug and it's been working. Hey, look at me. How many times have we seen with advertising and, and, and companies using celebrities as the face of their product that they don't actually use or it doesn't actually work and we still go out and spend our money on these products, believing that they work, believing the celebrity, believing their word. There was a case not too long ago where a model went to an award show and she was the face of this anti-aging cream. And she came to this award show with no makeup on. She looked so old and her skin was so wrinkled. She looked so bad. And it caused a whirlwind for this company because they're like, hey, on the commercial, she looking like this. But then when she was on this award show live TV, she looked like that. What happened? Those are the people that we should be mad at, people who are lying to us, not the Oprah's who are actually saying, hey, I use this and it worked for me. I don't know. I think it's a dig. I think that I'm standing with Oprah on this. But again, I do understand both sides of the coin, but I'm not going to come out and tell you that I'm financially benefiting. That's for you to go find out. That's not the information is out there if you want to know. You can look it up, but I don't need to tell you that. I'm going to tell you my real life. If she's making money from it, kudos, but she's actually using it. So I don't know. You guys let me know. Comment below. Am I wrong? Is Oprah wrong? Is Jillian right? When I first started hearing about the weight loss drugs, at the same time I was going through knee surgery and I felt I've got to do this on my own. Mm. I've got to do this on my own because if I take the drug, that's the easy way out. Now I hear about Triple G and I'm like, so okay, but, 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 yeah. but there's a part of me that, that feels yeah. like I think a lot of people felt with or feel with bariatric surgery that I've got to do it the hard way. I've got to keep climbing the mountains. I got to keep suffering. I got to do that because otherwise I somehow cheated myself. I, 